There are so many things that you can do to make your skin look healthy, younger, you can stop breakouts, you can fade dark spots, and there are even more products out there that can help you do this. But you only have to spend a little bit of time on platforms like TikTok and here on YouTube to find out that there is a lot of very unhelpful, downright unhealthy tips, tricks, and even misinformation. And today I am covering the top five things that your dermatologists, your estheticians, and the rest of us would all like people to stop doing to their skin. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel today. Yes, we are talking about things that people do to their skin that we really wish they would not because they're not helpful. Now, if you're new to the channel and you're not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris, I'm a skincare expert here on YouTube and I help people find skincare that will work for them, not into their wallet and not do more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content that sounds right for you, please be sure and subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you know when my new videos come out each week. Okay, the way this video came about is obviously I work with a lot of clients and we do a lot of videos talking about things that work well for skincare. And I have a lot of peers in the business and I also have a lot of friends that are dermatologists. And we kind of got together and we're talking about some of the stuff that we're seeing on YouTube, that we're seeing on TikTok. And while most of it's kind of funny and we just sort of let it roll by, there are some things out there that should really not be done to skin. Now, if you are looking for a lot of videos on what to do, of course I have them here on the channel, so be sure to go to the YouTube search bar, put in my name, Chris Gibson, and the skincare topic that you're looking for, pretty sure it's gonna pop up because I pretty much think I have a video on just about everything. If I don't, let me know in the comments below and I will create that video for you. So in position number one of things that your dermatologist, your esthetician, and I would not like to see you do is use bar soap on your skin. And that also includes things like dish soap. I know that there's been a lot of stuff out on TikTok lately where people are using dish soap as face wash. And I gotta tell you guys, yes, Dawn dish soap is great for washing a puppy because you can't use flea shampoo. And Dawn dish soap is good for getting oil off of a duck or a bird. But let's face it, folks, that's an extreme situation where you're using dish soap to remove something like oil. That's the lesser of two evils. Obviously, you don't want to run around and wash wild birds with dish soaps. All of these soaps, dish soap, bar soap, are formulated with very strong surfacants, which strip away oil and grease from dishes, again, from a bird caught in an oil slick. Not your skin. The pH of these products is way off. Your pH of your skin is 5.5 on average. These products with the binders, the fillers, the fragrance, and all the things that go into them create a pH level of eight to 10, which is really, really strong and it's going to break down your skin's natural acid mantle. That's the thing that keeps your skin in balance, allows your skin to retain moisture, allows you to create healthy skin cells to replace the ones that you lose every day. So these are in no way appropriate to use on your skin. Most skincare lines have great face washes with the proper pH and they are designed with ingredients like glycerin, dimethicone, water, sorbitol. All of these are very hydrating to the skin, not going to overstrip your skin of its natural oil. Now, if you're using any product and that's a face wash, surely we're not going to use soap and dish soap anymore. But if you're using a skincare product and your skin feels ever tight, dry, that squeaky clean feeling, then your pH is off of that product and you need to move to a gentler formulation for your skin type. The second on the list is skipping sunscreen in your daily skincare routine. Now, yes, we know that sun damage occurs over a lifetime. It's what leads to crepey skin, loss of collagen, dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and skin cancer. Very important to remember that you include sunscreen in your daily routine. 70% of the signs of aging on your skin come from sun damage or long-term exposure to UVA and UVB light. Just take a look at the skin on your butt and compare it to any part of your body that gets regular exposure to sun. 
big difference, right? So very important that you protect your skin from the damaging rays of the sun. Very, very important. And it also protects your skin from skin cancer. So as I always say on the channel, sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Have I told you you need to wear sunscreen? Now the third one on my list today, I really do personally understand, and that is picking at your skin. I had acne, severe acne as a teen, all the way into my early adulthood. So I know that popping pimples and squeezing out blackheads has sort of an odd satisfaction factor to it. I mean, after all, Dr. Pimple Popper has built an entire empire around that. Yeah, but she knows what she's doing. Popping and squeezing these bumps spreads bacteria not only outside of your skin, but underneath your skin, creating more likelihood of breakouts and deeper cystic acne pustules. The problem with poking and pushing on these is that you can also damage the pore wall, damaging the collagen that surrounds it and creating a scar. Number one goal of dermatologists with your skin and acne is to prevent scarring. It is much better to develop a routine that has a gentle pH balancing cleanser, exfoliation process, acne treatments like adipalane or which is a retinol, spot treaters, and moisturizer. And if you're continuing to suffer with acne breakouts, a visit to the dermatologists for some proven solid advice is definitely the way to go. Now, if you are having active acne or acne prone skin, be sure to check out my videos here on the channel because they will be able to help you with that problem. And after all, I did write the book on acne, literally. All right, now this next one is one that I talk about a lot on the channel, and that is giving up on your skincare products and your skincare routine way too soon. It usually takes six to eight weeks for a skincare product to give you visible results. So that means you need to use the product up before you can really judge if you've gotten any good results from that. Now, what I like to do, because you guys know I test a ton of products, is I take a selfie, picture at the beginning and then after the end of using the product or six to eight weeks out, I make sure that I take another picture and compare the results because a lot of these products, again, really take a while to work, especially things like retinols and retin-A or prescription retinoids. Those have an acclimation time. The skin has to adjust. Usually there's some side effects. It can be a month to two months before you begin to see some really great results from those products and many people stop too soon they throw them out they go in a drawer of no return they could become the skin care graveyard so if you're one of those people that does that and i get it a lot of you guys are skincare junkies like me you want the next best thing on your skin it's totally fine but you need to judge the results give yourself time to make sure that the product is or is not really working for you the other thing that's important is anytime you change a product and i don't care if it's the same active ingredients that were in the product you were using before you need to make sure you do a test on your inner elbow so that you're aware of any potential irritation before you go and slather something on your face and i will tell on myself here i'm testing some self tanners and I know this rule, I preach this rule, I talk about this rule all the time, and yet I did not test one of them on my inner arm, and guess what? I got a really bad rash from that product on my neck and on my chest. So I can't emphasize enough how important it is to patch test products. All right, this next one on the list is more of an issue from today's technology than anything else, and that is talking bad about your skin. Listen, I understand I had acne so bad and it stressed me out back in those days. I compared myself to other people. I didn't understand why my skin was giving me such hell. It was really a tough go for me. But the thing that you need to know is when we stress out over anything, we are contributing to the level of inflammation in our body and our skin. And inflammation is the root cause of so many skin issues. It causes flare-ups and eczema and rosacea. It worsens acne breakouts. That's all been proven. And we always need to take a step back and appreciate our skin for what it does for us every day and protecting us from the environment, holding our body parts together and getting us through life. And also celebrate and appreciate the skincare products and routines that you're learning on channels like mine that are improving how your skin looks and its health. Those are things to focus on. If you're one of those people that spends hours on Instagram looking at all these filtered pictures, that's not beauty and that's not skincare. Yes, those people are beautiful and yes, they may do skincare, but that's not a realistic 
ideal place for where you want to be. Focus is everything. And again, just taking a step back and appreciating where you are with your skin will do just wonders for the overall process of good skin health. Now, as I said, there were many things that I could have added to the list today, but I do want to make an hour long video for you guys. I will do another one on the rest of them at some point soon. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a like and comment below and let me know if it was helpful. And again, let me know some of the craziest skincare advice or things that you've seen or heard about. I'd love to know what they are. And thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. I love you. Stay beautiful. And I'll see you over on that next video.